handcuff that Naomi was kind enough to put her head in. Babushka. Nie, nie, nie. Raczej sąsiadka. Does your pigeon friend have a name? Magda. Both of us hit our heads a little bit. I've just been whacking my head off of things. Let's break uh, into a church. Yeah. <laughs> you guys and welcome back to the channel last evening we were kind of trying to see what we could possibly shoot a video about today so we just kind of went on Google to have a look around which cities are in close proximity to Wuj and we found one city which is called Wishitsa. Wishitsa? I hope I pronounced that one right because when we were trying to order the tickets for this train uh, the lady did not understand where we were trying to go but uh, I'm pretty sure it's Wishitsa. Wishitsa? Wishitsa? Now apparently in this Polish town that we are headed to it is slightly north of Wuj and there's only apparently around 13,000 inhabitants in this town so it's definitely off the grid it's off the beaten path we thought initially when we went to Wuj that that was off the beaten path but now we're going the extra mile here and bringing you guys somewhere that is really not often visited or shown on YouTube or by any tourists in general very loud here in this train because the window beside us is open and the train is already picking up some speed as you can probably see this is blowing into front of me here but check this out welcome to Wieschitze we just had a little bit of an ordeal getting off the train there Polish woman, very friendly, came in and started asking for help to get off the train. I understand very, we understand very little Polish, but I understood that she needed help. So we went to try and assist her and she, tur it turns out she was very confused. She tried to get off on the wrong side of the train and was literally going out onto the tracks. It turned out we had to go out the other door. It was manual doors to open the doors. Like you literally have to turn the handles just to open the door and give it a good strong push and there's this really weird noise that is coming out of all the speakers here at the train station but yeah welcome to Wieschitze um, this is a very interesting uh, train station let alone as a first impression of this place and as I said very very few people are in are inhabiting here, are living here. So it should be an interesting day. Apparently there is some cool stuff to check out, like castles and stuff like that. So it's definitely st definitely things that we typically will go for. And we have beautiful weather today. Once again, the Polish summer is finally here. Now, if you're wondering, or if you're, oh my, if you are wandering around Europe and you end up getting lost, there's two ways that you can make sure that you are in a Polish town or Polish city. And that is one, if there is a Biedronka, two, if there's a Zabka. And we just discovered a Biedronka. So we're gonna go and get some snacks. Now the town of Wyszyca is one of the oldest towns in all of Poland with it being mentioned for the very first time in the 12th century. I believe it was 1180 um, it was mentioned for the very very first time and right now we are directly here at the royal castle of Wyszyca as you can see directly behind me. Um, this castle was completely destroyed uh, around 1707 because of the Swedish occupation here and after that um, the locals of Wyszyca kind of used the revels and everything the ruins that was there as uh, material to build their own houses so that castle was completely destroyed after a while um, and everybody was kind of taking whatever they needed in order to build their houses and then in 1964 this castle was completely built from scratch to resemble the castle that was here before this castle is truly magnificent and we luckily managed to get the drone up in the air and capture some bird's eye shots over the castle itself and over the town and this place is actually really very pretty there's plenty of red brick 
architecture going on around here. And you can tell that a lot has happened in this place throughout history. And funnily enough, facing the castle itself is a Zabka and a Biedronka. So kind of just proves my point really. Welcome to Poland. Now this castle from the outside is really, really beautiful with the red brick exterior. And to be honest, if I wouldn't have read beforehand that it was kind of rebuilt from scratch, you wouldn't really know that that is the case. It kind of just looks like, you know, every other castle um, that is from the 12th century. Obviously it has its own um, details and it's very, very unique to this place, but you wouldn't necessarily think that it's not from that time. We just after walking into the entrance of this castle and we bumped into a uh, Nigel Thornberry look-alike. I don't know if any of you guys watching um, our channel are familiar with the Thornberries. Very famous cartoon from when me and Naomi, or Naomi and I were children. And this is kind of almost like a look-alike of Nigel Thornberry. Um, look up the show, really funny show. Just after you walk in the entrance of the castle, you are greeted by this very cool looking garden. There are hundreds of swallows flying just above us right now. It's very cool. Um, the acoustics in here in the garden kind of amplifies those birds. Um, but there's plenty of things out here in the garden to check out. Like there's a kind of an old school handcuff um, that Naomi was kind enough to put her head in and uh, we are also going to go and check out the museum itself. It's around 28 Zwati per person to go inside and we should be able to go up to this cool looking tower as well. So let's go and check this museum out and see what's inside. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Careful on your head. That was my shoulder. My God, there is no space. Look how claustrophobic it is in here. <laughs> For me, it's all right. <laughs> I'm a little bit on the wide side, but both of my shoulders are touching either of the walls. We're going up a tower. Should be interesting. Fortunately, a lot of the signs here are in just Polish, but it's very interesting. Good diabeł. Good? Good, diabeł. Jedna stopa jest ludzka, a drugie jest końskie kopyto. Zaraz pokażę, 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 pokażę. Ale będziemy dalej pokażę. It's like good, good, good monsters. Oh, Or good. Like good spirits. Like good spirits. That's what I understood. Like it, it because she said it looks like uh, the devil, like diabeł. Yeah. But it's a good one. It's not actual devil. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I understood. <laughs> very squeaky floors. <laughs> this is very cool. Very unique. Kazimierz Wielki i Boruta. Król Kazimierz Wielki. Oh. Kazimierz Król. A to też Boruta. Wszystko Boruta. This guy is cool. <laughs> 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 Pronunciation on point. <laughs> you can see the different outfits that people used to wear back in these ages. Babushka? Nie, 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 raczej sąsiadka. Ah! Przyjaciółka rodziny, sąsiadka. Wow. No, a tu cera młoda, a babuszka by była o. Aha. <laughs> okay, so that woman was trying to give us a little bit of a lecture as to what what is obviously with our very little Polish and she wasn't really speaking any English either. She spoke a little bit of German, so she kind of knew good, uh, gut and zurück and all of these things. But um, she didn't knew that much and we obviously don't know any Polish, so it was a little bit difficult, but uh, 
they were actually not good spirits. I think as far as we understood, it was kind of more of a situation of uh, sins or something like that. Like these little devils were behaving obviously like a devil and they were like lifting up the skirt of the women and acting as if it's the wind or um, kind of touching women in a weird way, all of these things. So it was not good spirits. No idea what it actually was though. <laughs> Yeah, that was a very interesting interaction with that woman. Um, we still don't really have much of a clue as to what's going on here, but it's very interesting. There's plenty of things to check out. And now we're on our way up to a tower, which supposedly has some pretty nice views over the garden that we were just standing in there not so long ago. It's very dark in here. But this is one section of the tower, and a few, a few spooky images here. Um, yeah. I don't know if you're going to get them on the GoPro, but no. hopefully we can capture some with um, other cameras that we brought with us. <laughs> the lighting in here is not on our side right now, guys. But check this view out out of this window. It's obviously a cage over the window, so it's not the best, but we have a little bit more to scale up to get to the top of this tower. After a few of those really, really dark uh, little staircases, we are basically there. That's the exit of the tower where we, we will have a nice view, I hope. The staircase is very steep, <laughs> trying to get up. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Here comes the sun. And I say, who are you talking to? Pigeon in here. There's a pigeon? Very great. Oh, hello, pigeon. Hello. <laughs> That's pigeon language for get on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we made it all the way to the top. You can see that's the top of the tower there, directly behind us. And from here, you have an amazing view all over the city, but also a lot of fields. Wait, I'm trying to find the best angle to show you guys. Oh yeah, now you see how green Poland is. <laughs> When we went up here, there was kind of still another group down there and they were shouting from the tower to the people down there uh, back and forth like hoo 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 <laughs> Unfortunately, they're gone now, so we cannot scream hoo hoo I would like to scream hoo hoo Yeah, that's definitely something that I wouldn't do, but... <laughs> I would scream hoo 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 <laughs> Yeah, this uh, tower is cool, the museum is cool, definitely worth a visit this place is roughly around 40, 45 minutes, or no more, like an hour or so away from Woj by train. Uh, by train. We just took the ICE train or ICC train. Um, incredibly cheap actually to get out to this random Polish town. Cost us 20 zloty. 20 zloty for two people. It was uh, 10 zloty for, per person for the train. And the museum here was 28 slotty per person. Yeah, so it was more expensive to come in here, but this place is very much worth the 28 zloty. That's, I think it's around five euro um, per person to come in here and check this place out. This tower view alone by itself is worth that money. Um, and the walk up as well is pretty unnerving. If you are claustrophobic, beware because it is very narrow and tight. But if you are afraid of heights, like I am, you will be fine because it is claustrophobic. There's no like free fall drops or anything like that. It's just very, very narrow, small. It's claustrophobic, not hyophobic. Yes. 
both of us hit our heads a little bit on, our, on the way down. Um, so I'm five foot ten or 178 in the metric system. Um, if you're anywhere close to that, make sure to protect your head at all costs when you walk down that staircase. Obviously, Luke is a lot taller and I think he hit his head a lot more and harder than I did. Yeah, I nearly, I actually went down the stairs ahead of Naomi, unfortunately. Um, hey. <laughs> I literally went head first into one of the walls. I don't know if you can see it very well because I shaved my head. Um, I actually shaved my head while we were in Krakow. And ever, ever since I've shaved my head, I've just been whacking my head off of things for some weird reason. So I have loads of bumps and bruises and scars and s stuff like that, that are just accumulating on my scalp. But nonetheless, that place was pretty epic. Um, we're very glad that we took the train out here to Wyszynia, Wyszynia. Um This place is we, As we, we said, Wieschitze. 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 <laughs> it's very much off the beaten path um, and there is so few people that are actually living here. So very much well worth the day trip because it's not somewhere that people typically would think of coming to and checking out. Um, but that's exactly why we come to places like this. It's actually why we initially came to Woj because Woj was so, like so many people were just like, don't go to Woj, don't go to Woj, don't go to Woj. And we're like, okay, we're gonna go to Woj. Same thing with Katowice, don't go there, people were saying, and then we went there. Um, and then when we come to places like this, we just have this sort of like a nomadic need inside of us to continue exploring deeper into these relatively unknown territories. And every single time that we go off of the beaten path, we are rewarded with beautiful places and beautiful towns such as this one. So we just arrived at the Rhineck or the main market square and very little, very few people wandering around the market square of Leschitze. Um, very quaint in comparison to a lot of the Rhinecks that we've seen so far, obviously because of the small size of this place. But nonetheless, very beautiful, great weather, and we are on our way now to Ajabka to get some quick refreshments, and then on we go to explore more of this little town. It's hot. This town is really something that we didn't actually expect. When we picked it out randomly on Google Maps and decided to hop on the train from Woods to here. We kind of had this picture of a totally, you know, middle of nowhere, countryside type of a situation. But there's actually plenty of stuff going on and there is quite a few people buzzing around. We walked past in the Ryan Actor, the main square. We walked past a couple of cafes and there was plenty of people out there just enjoying a nice, cup of coffee on the Friday afternoon having some ice cream and stuff like that because the weather is truly amazing and tomorrow believe it or not we are headed to a totally new place that is just north of where we are in Woj we're very very excited if you have watched this far and if you appreciate what we do we kindly ask you to hit that red subscribe button because we are trying to grow ourselves all the way as far as we can um, and build ourselves a nice Polish audience. So on to the next stop here and this church looks absolutely stunning. Check it out. So our next stop here is the Church of St. Andrew the Apostle. Um, we want to go inside as well to check it out, but I will have to put on a jacket because usually uh, they don't like it as much in Poland if you wear just like a dress, you show your shoulders or a hat. So if you ever go inside of a church, make sure to bring something to cover yourself up. And if you're a man, try not to wear a hat. Looks like it's closed. Maybe there's another entrance, but the main entrance seems to be locked. <laughs> Didn't have any luck. 
<clears throat> we're getting into this one but as Naomi said yeah hopefully there is another way of getting into this church because there's no better way of discovering a new town or a new city than going and checking out the church or any church that is in the area because it's a very quick way of learning the history and traditions of the culture in the town or city that you're visiting so that's what we're trying to do we're going to try and get in here but right now it doesn't look too promising i think we've made it inside i'm not sure Are we sneaking into a church? It's okay to go in or no? Yeah? Yeah. No. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remonte trwają prace. Dziękuję. Dziękuję bardzo. Okay. Unfortunately not today. We're not going to be checking out this church, but um, the canon or priest or pastor, I'm not sure what his rank was, but he kindly let us know that the church is closed didn't really understand what exactly Why? the reason the reasoning was but unfortunately the church is closed we almost went in the fire exit i think in the back of the church <laughs> let's break uh, into a church <laughs> yeah what a what a way to get into a whole bunch of trouble um we've only been in this town now for around two hours or so and we're already getting ourselves into a whole bunch of trouble nonetheless the church from the outside is absolutely beautiful it's very unique looking and it is something that kind of characterizes a lot of poland poland um, historically is a very strong catholic um, belief system all throughout the ages uh, Poland has been rooted historically in Catholic beliefs similar as my home country of Ireland I'm from Ireland myself um, Naomi is half German half Italian so very Catholic it is just the religion of choice but unfortunately today we're not going to experience that side of wish it's a I was however able to at least capture through the entrance door there is a little bit of glass on the entrance door what the church looks like from the inside and it looks very very cool um, so if you are ever here in this beautiful village and you get the chance to see the church from the inside definitely try and do it because it looks absolutely stunning I think generally here in this village it's probably not super common to have tourists visit it so a lot of people are genuinely curious anyway as to who we are and what we're doing here and why we don't speak Polish um, but right now Luke is flying the drone there um, just behind me here and um, there are a lot of people that are very confused as to why there is a drone <laughs> in the Rynek or the market square here or Rynek I, I actually don't know how to pronounce that um, but a lot of people are very very curious and you see kind of everybody is looking like what is happening why is there a drone um, but we have some really cool drone shots for you let's go now in the center itself it really feels like um, the village kind of is organically grown nice little idyllic village and then when you get closer to the train station you have all of these large buildings that um, kind of look like they were built somewhere in between 1970s and probably the early 2000s obviously they're accommodating a lot more people than the little one family type of homes that you can see in the market square um, unfortunately this is directly at the train station so if you do arrive as a tourist your first reaction is a little bit like oh okay where am i um, but uh, all of these areas nevertheless seem very safe and very idyllic and nice so it's all right the not so glamorous life of travel vloggers we decided to make our way back to the train station and try and catch the train which we planned on getting back to Woods, but we missed it we were kind of too focused a little bit on capturing this town and trying to get across to you just how 
undiscovered so many different places are in Poland and unfortunately we spent a little bit too long uh, we ended up running back here to this station and we missed the train by literally around two or three minutes and because of the fact that we are very far away from a lot of the main cities in Poland there's not much connectivity going on here the next train is in roughly around two and a half hours so we're going to be sitting here in the shade trying to stay out of the sun because I think I'm a little bit sunburnt but nonetheless very productive very good day great place definitely somewhere that you guys need to come and check out we will be waiting here for a while and then we're going to jump on this train stay with us all the way until the end because we do have a little bit more to chat about on the train still waiting all right guys so it has been around three and a half hours since the last time that I spoke to you guys or we spoke to you guys and um, the time that our train was supposed to come has passed it's actually around half an hour after our train is supposed to come and there is still no sign of a train we are just sitting here in the sun kind of baking away I went up and asked uh, someone if they spoke English unfortunately they didn't but I tried to use Google Translate just to see if they had any information about getting back to Woods and if there would be a train soon but unfortunately no sign so we are currently stranded in this little town outside of Woods right now fingers crossed that we get a train back to this place because tomorrow we are supposed to be checking out of our Airbnb so we do not want to end up having to book a hotel in this random city um, and having to stay out here we have nothing with us we came unprepared we have no phone chargers we have very little cash and both of our phones are on like 10 percent battery right now so it's not going well it's not going well the day itself was fine this place is beautiful but we are currently stranded sitting on a platform and we have no idea what's going on so hopefully we'll be on the train now in a sec we're on the train <laughs> can you believe it we're finally on the train um but we took a different kind of train so usually like we were supposed to take the IC and now like a different kind of local train arrived and we just decided to take that one and we bought another set of tickets but that's all right I just want to get home at this stage long wait around almost four hours in total that we were waiting at that station we made it and this was a fun trip definitely worth it but the extra delay with the train and stuff like that kind of added a little bit of stress for us but luckily we are now on our way back to Woods. it was a great day it was a great um, town and a good experience it's definitely something that we encourage you guys to do and something we always try and encourage you guys to do with our channel is to get off the beaten track of where tourists go to for sure make sure to add this one to your list also, this is just kind of the stuff um, that you can tell stories about. I kind of feel like when everything goes well and everything is super great, you don't really have a story to tell. So now we have a story to tell. Um, for the last like one and a half years that we have been traveling and things have been going wrong, these are usually the type of trips that we do remember a lot more than when everything just went smoothly. god guys what a long day of exploring around it was definitely well worth it 
we are more than happy to be back at our place. The sun is just going down. But it's golden hour. <laughs> wow, what a day. And we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, for now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Thanks very much for watching this video. We just launched our community, our channel memberships here on YouTube. So if you want to be part of this community, make sure to check out the benefits and perks down below. All of this is only possible because of you guys and with your support, we will be able to keep going for a lot longer.